What's, What's up, up, honey gang? gang? It's your girl Jess. And it's Ellie. And we have some nachos. Have some nachos. We eat nachos with you guys today. And I have a side of pico, which is sour. Ooh. Oh. That's so sorry. Mm. I'm so sorry. Oh, that is good. Mm -hmm. So, you guys, we're doing a nacho mukbang. 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 <laughs> That is so sad. I still can't get it right, you guys. But we just want to eat with you guys and tell you what's been going on. Talk some shit. You know. So, we've been having issues with the school system. Okay. Here in Texas. And in my case, I want to say for the past two years, um, I feel like they're not doing enough for people's children. In general, doesn't matter. People's children. Um, I'm close enough to wanting to homeschool my child. I've been there. I want to homeschool. I want. I am going to homeschool this year. I'm just letting them finish the year out. But homeschool is my. I just feel like the teachers they don't not, have enough patience. Or they're not paying attention to. No patience. Then uh, they're not paying attention to the child. When I say pay attention to the child, <clears throat> doesn't mean necessarily too much neglect, but uh, I guess it just depends on. <sighs> you trying to make excuses for these teachers? No, I'm trying to word it correctly. Now, there are children that require too much attention, too much attention, right? And then there's some that don't require that much attention. And the teachers will bypass and overlook those that doesn't need them as bad. And sometimes that moment that they bypass is when the child needs them the most. Right. That's the best way I can say it. Okay. I think that um, teachers nowadays need to go back to a teaching class to... They do need to learn. We learn every day. You know what I'm saying? So as being parents, we learn every day. Right? And then I could just imagine as a teacher, you um, I'm hoping you learn every day. I think they need to go back to a class, teach them how to have patience with these kids. If they not learning something, <clears throat> teach them how to not not only have the patience, but broaden your horizon. Don't be so narrow minded. Mm -hmm. Not every kid has the same um attention span. Attention span. Mm -hmm. And um um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, imagination. Mm, okay. You know, and I think every kid learns differently. Like schools today, they just teaching you one way. And if that's not the way you do it, then it's wrong. No, bitch, that's not wrong. We learn different. I know back in the day you get a, a passage and you have to answer five questions. It's more mm -hmm. like the main idea of the story. Who's Tom? Who's this? Right. So for me, back in the day, my teachers would be like, read the questions. That way, when you go and read the, the passage, passage, yeah, you know what you're looking for. Yeah, you know what you're looking for. Underline, oh, that's the answer to this question. That's right. the answer to this. Now they're making them read the whole passage, and some kids can't remember what the fuck they read. Right, right, right. It is frustrating. Um, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm trying to help my son with his homework. And I'm like, I don't remember learning this in school. <laughs> is this something new? <laughs> is this something new? Because I don't know how I can help you, you know? And that's the sad part where I can be open and honest and be like, look, I don't know how I can help you. I can try to figure this out. We can try to figure this out together. Or I'll reach out to uh, my brother and Ellie to see if they can help. And when they say it takes a village to raise a child or children, it really does because imagine the parents how we feel trying to help our children and imagine our children in the classroom not getting it as well and the teachers is just um i'm not gonna say some of them are just like okay well you don't get it you're gonna fail yeah but you need to find ample other ways ample means a lot okay other ways to help each child figure out the answer correctly i never agreed with um it's called a star test out here in texas in Florida, we it's had called it. FK. Yeah, FK, FK. So I never agree with none of those state test exams because I think I think that's a lot of pressure on the child. They already got to remember what the hell 
homeroom, second class, and just all types of homework. Like, why would you put a, um, why would you have children take state exam? For what? That's really the question. Why are they taking state exam? I think the state exam is more for the teacher, not the child, to see, okay, the you was in a class for this long. Let's see what this teacher is teaching you. All right. All right. I don't think it's for the kid. <laughs> but the kid's taking it. Yeah. I just think it's really um difficult. Now, on another note, I also feel like on the aspect of bullying, I completely understand that this generation is off the chain in a bad way, okay? Where you cannot take anything lightly. I highly understand that. What I'm also having a problem with is when we were in school, there was peer mediation. You and that person that you don't get along with actually have to get together with a counselor and talk it out or it's the principal and talk it out, whatever. Okay, and if, if the situation still continues, then it's the parents that have to get together with the school and then we'll figure out what we can do as adults. Then it's anything else besides that. I can say for the past two years, I haven't, my, my children, I'm going to say that much, hasn't had a uh, good representation shown to them as far as with the school system they automatically call the police let me rewind that back they automatically call the police okay now once again i said i understand but for a parent in my case that is the worst fear especially if there has never been no incident with your child that's needed that has been needed for you to call the police okay and then, you don't know which type of police officer you're going to get that day. So, it's even more of a terror to be like, oh, I had to call the police on so your child. And you're trying to beat the police to the school because you want to be there before anything happens. I just feel like they go to the extreme as much as I can understand. But... Before you go to the extreme, you you're not even trying your protocols. You're not even going by your old protocols. That's why you're pissed off at. We got teachers stooping down to a student level. Are you in back and forth with the student? I had a mouth back in my um, when I went to school, but I also um, I only had a mouth with those that I felt that. Was disrespecting me like my mom always made me respect the adults always gave respect in the beginning up front but my mom also made it clear that they got to earn the rest of it so if you as an adult is is talking to me on my level i don't see you mm -hmm. <laughs> i can't respect you i mean as a teacher you have to try as many times as possible to see where you and that student can well, you and that student can come to an agreement. You know, I'm not getting, I'm not understanding, or I don't like that you do this, or she can, she or he can say, I don't like that you do that. And y'all come to a mutual understanding because just because you're an adult doesn't mean that you're right. Yeah. So I went, I just went through this with Tati. So I got a phone call from the counselor saying that Tatiana, um, she thinks it's a personality clash between her and her math teacher. And the math teacher, um, I'm I'm gonna be honest. I don't I don't I don't like her. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like she's one of those teachers that if I had to sit down in a parent teacher conference with her, we we gonna have to run it after school. <laughs> like, no, I'm so serious because it's her attitude. For me, I talk to everybody the same way. I'm not cussing. I may not be cussing, but I'm still gonna be like, so you don't know what you're doing. You but a smile. Yeah, you, you know. So, Tati said she raised her hand uh, because she didn't understand something. And the teacher was like, girl, put your hand down. Okay. Okay. That's that's the first. That was not strike number one. Then, she, Tati said that the teacher, sometimes, if Tati is asking a question about what she just learned, she was like, can you repeat that? Or can you tell me one more time? Because I didn't get it the first time. No, if you didn't get it, I don't have time to go back. I'm not going to stop my class to go back for you. Like, you know, bitch. I mean, Run it. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Run it. And it's one of the things like, okay, you want a parent-teacher conference. I'm going to sit down with you. And then you embarrassed her. So, 
speaking of embarrassed her, when Tatiana gets embarrassed, she talks back. Or she starts, you know, giving you a mean look like. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's like these teachers don't have no care in the world. They're just like, oh, I'm just here to teach, work my eight to three and go home. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't care about these kids anymore, which is not fair to the kids. I want to make this perfectly clear, okay? We are parents that are highly involved. And the parents that are highly involved are always going to try to make it there even if work has to be sacrificed. They're going to try to make it there. They're going to try to find a solution to the problem. There are some children and some adolescents, okay, high school, middle school, elementary school, that do disrespect adults, period, because of whatever they learn at home. Mm -hmm. But baby, ours, there should be no excuse of why you talking to my child with that tone as if she's an adult. Okay, I will deal with her later, but I'm here now. So I'm going to handle you and talk to you about what the hell you were supposed to be doing. Okay, when it comes down to, to a child and I'll deal with my child later. But if she's not in the wrong, if, if she's going to have an attitude and um, a, a defense mechanism, that's the word. A defense mechanism is because you embarrassed her. It's already yeah. embarrassing for a person to be like, I didn't understand that. Yeah. Can you try it again? And then she was like, she don't like the fact that Tatiana, she speaks up. Like, she'll speak up. If she feel like somebody, a little girl pushed her. And she was like, uh, she told the teacher. The teacher didn't do nothing. So when the little girl pushed her again, she pushed her back, right? And then the teacher was like, oh, well, two wrongs don't make it right. But you're the one getting in trouble because I only saw you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when the girl, when, when Tati was like, well, that's not fair. You know what I'm saying? You didn't see her do it. So I, I shouldn't be the only one getting in trouble. When she speaks up like that, the teacher's like, no, this is why I have a problem. Well, bitch, you just go have a problem because... I don't teach my kids to take no goddamn... I was like, room. she gonna call me and she's like, oh, well, you know, Tatiana has a bit of an attitude. You know, I know she got attitude. I know that. I'm raising her. I know that. Bitch, don't tell me what... I know that. What I don't like. You know what I'm saying? I was like, so... Is you dismissing her? Yeah. So I was like... Um, I'm raising her to speak up for herself because there's a lot of kids that are being muted and those are the kids that are shooting up y'all school. Okay. 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 So, um, she's going to speak up for herself. Even if you did not hear her the first time, she will repeat it until you heard her. That's just how she is. So if you still didn't hear her, now she's getting angry. Now she's getting more irritated with you because you keep telling her to girl, shut up, girl, go sit down, girl, hush, girl, girl, who her name is Tatiana. You know what I'm saying? I think that these teachers, Lord Jesus. I don't, you know, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Um, I want to homeschool. That is my plan. I think my kids will be able to learn better from me. I do know that that would take a lot of patience. You know, God's still working on me. He knows my intentions. And I know, you know, my kids will succeed better with me than they will with these fucking teachers. And it's very sad. Because parents have to... Be in predicaments where we have to lose our jobs. But if we don't lose our jobs, we're going to lose it for a good ass reason. Good ass reason. Okay? Because last thing I need is a teacher mishandling my child. Mm. Last thing I need is you arguing with my child. Last thing I need is show up at that school ready about my child. All that. We come deep, baby. Okay. It's just so frustrating that. It just seems so much like a give up mechanism with these teachers. Different schools. Different schools now. I can't even go to different schools. Experiencing the same situations. So now you got a question like, damn. Is it just the district or is it just the schools? I have no idea. I don't know, but I know that with the teacher, my teacher, I'm talking about a whole nother parent was in there rapping and raving about the same thing. And this lady was ready to fight. She was like, I don't even give a fuck no more. You know, blah, blah. You know I'm going to have to, where's where, where she at? School over, where's she at? I'm tired of having her come in here and talk to you, you, and you. I need to talk to her. Like, stop beating around the bush. And I think, and we also need more principals that's more involved. Yeah, yeah. You got to come up to the principal and ask them what's going on. Principal don't know shit. I'm sorry, what happened? Oh, bitch, you should know. Right, for real. Prince, same thing in my school. My principal don't know nothing. And I'm like, damn, it's the first time even meeting you. 
Where you been? For real. <laughs> oh, I'm always in meetings. Nah, y'all can't have meetings every day, baby. For you to be a principal, you're just as much as involved with these children at the school, as much as needed to be involved at the school as a teacher. Okay? Oh. Mm. Excuse me. I send my kids to school to learn and hopefully be security se secured. But if you can't even secure my children, baby, they could be home with their fucking mama. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm a parent that cares. I can't even leave my child home too long by themselves because I'll get to panicking like I wanna call all the time or just like and my shit kids. that just get took it for granted these days. Mm-hmm. Look really good. Mm-hmm. Did y'all see you scraping? I ain't got no more chips, but it's okay. I ain't got no more chips either, so I brought one. <laughs> <laughs> I should have brought one too. Mm -hmm. But if you guys, you know, understand the dilemma, the headache, and heartache, okay? Because that, that's a heartache. When your child feel like, damn, nobody listening to me, and you just like, I'm listening to you, but I have to send you back to school type shit. That's a heartache. But not next year, baby. Not this year. Not this year. Nope. I don't know how to homeschool. I'm open to it. And a lot of patience. Because normally, you know, parents be like, hell yeah, you will go to school. Get out of my house for eight hours. Right, right, right. But, right, know, right, right. So, uh, for me, I'm, I'm going to do the homeschooling. You know, it's a, it won't be eight hours. It'll probably be six, maybe four. You know, depending on what subject we learn in that day. You right. know what I'm saying? And then I will try to put them in extracurricular. You know what I'm saying? Like, because yeah. they can't stay still that long. Yeah. Kids cannot stay still that long. Okay. You want to go to the uh, library? Let's go to the library. You want to go to, uh, for Tatiana's case, basketball. Right. See if they have basketball camp. Okay. Something that yeah, they can yeah. do two or three times a week. Karate. Because nowadays you have to teach your kids how to fight and defend themselves because these people, these, not only the kids, but. Kidnap who, bitch? Nigga. Kidnap who? You know what I'm saying? That's the worst thing, too. So not only not only in society do we have to nurture our kids as mothers, we have to nurture them. But now we have to teach them to stand up for yourself, fight back, speak up, and what's wrong is wrong. Mm -hmm. Don't let nobody make you feel like not to say nothing. You say something. You say something. Even if it, they say they're going to kill you, they're going to kill me too, baby. Tell me. Tell me. I need to know. It's, it's very sad, and this conversation is very much needed. It's not enough parents. It's really not Excuse enough me. parents. I hate to say that some people just, you know, I'm not going to say they, they're probably unable to. But once you have kids, you have no choice but to make a way. Make time. And that's the one thing I understood at an early age with my first child. This is a big responsibility. And everything's going to always fall back on you. Always. My mom emphasized that, even at a young age. And now, like, my child's older. It's just like, sometimes I cry. Because it's just like, um, I feel bad for him. And then I feel like I don't want to, I don't want him to... In a child's mind, it's like, oh, I don't want to be the snitch. But they got no problem snitching on you. I'm calling the police on you. Will you hear me? You better open your mouth. Because you're going to be the only one that's going to be in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I like that. I think it's getting, it's, it's getting ridiculous. It's getting. Life at in this era and time right now is ridiculous. Yeah. I was telling my husband, I was like, you know, I, you know, he knows I wanted to homeschool. That was that was always the plan for us was to homeschool, travel, you know, teach them stuff while traveling, right? So I was telling my husband, I was like, I'm really scared for them to grow up in this this day and age, like this this society, the way everything is coming down to, like bird box. I'm really gonna have to show y'all how to start a fire with with your knees, baby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Like 
like we we have to teach our kids how to survive for real for real we you know without lights without water we have to you know kids don't understand that as a kid you're like mama why are the lights off you know like why right why right. I have to start this fire? Why I gotta use my knees? You know, right. <laughs> and instead of taking that into embarrassment as an adult, because you feel like it's embarrassed your child is coming to you asking these questions, mm -hmm. you need to explain to them because now is now is the perfect time where so you have where you have to explain everything. They will understand, yeah. okay? Especially if they're they at that will. Age. Now, don't do it like four or five. I don't think your my, child. My um my youngest was like my youngest was like. So, mommy, what happened to Chuck E. Cheese? And I'm like, I'm sorry, baby. I don't think we're going to be able to go. Now, he didn't want to go for a while. Okay? I think every kid loves Chuck E. Cheese. I love right, Chuck E. Cheese. Right, but just not the aspect of Chuck E. Cheese, but the, the, the meaning behind it is just like, you know, I'm una unable to. I apologize. You know, no matter the age, you let them know that you can apologize. If you are wrong, just because you're an adult, you can be wrong. I apologize. I'm unable to take you this week. And he was like, um, Okay. And I was like, well, thank you. You know, it made me feel better. Thank you. He's like, when I get out of this car, I'm going to give you a kiss. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just the, uh, it's explaining to them because they will understand. And it's not like by having these children, <clears throat> they're not coming out smarter and smarter. Right? So you might as well exasperate as much as possible. <sighs> what the fuck does exasperate? I think that means to like, uh, well, like no, we not only emphasize, do we have to take... An etiquette class, to emphasize, right? To now, em Jasmine, need to go back to English one on one. Anybody got any ideas? <laughs> I think that's the word. It's okay. If it's not, comment you know down I'm below. I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and put that little. little blah, 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 blah. <laughs> She's this bitch here. I think that's what it means to emphasize. To just keep stressing it. I think so. Unless I'm, I'm pronunciating it wrong, then fuck it. I can't help pronunciation. Oh, you know what else we need to do better as parents? Push our kids. Tati want to be a model and play basketball. I don't see no wrong thing. I'm pushing the shit out you. Yeah. Because back in the day, my mama was like, how far is this audition? Yeah, and my, then my people would be like, oh yeah, you should do you should do it. But they didn't know how to push you, like, to, you know, take you to places and stuff like that. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we really going to be Googling the internet bound just to see, like, how to get our children going. You got to, man. Because anybody that doesn't birth your children are quick and have no reason to keep uh, believing in them. They, they can give up at any moment. Even when you don't believe in yourself, do know that we will believe in you. That was great. I'm going to caption that. <laughs> <laughs> well, all I, right, y'all. I appreciate having this conversation with you guys. These nice shows with I hope that y'all taking some of our advice, especially the parents. You know, we gotta do and this better. is current situation that we're talking about, you guys. We got to do better with our kids. We got to, you know, even if every, if you got to homeschool your kid, homeschool your kid, baby. Find a way to. Because they're not learning in the school system, okay? It's not the, it's not your child. It's the fucking school. Facts. And so, just because your child get in trouble every day, rather it's because they talking, rather it's because whatever. Your child is not a bad child. Agreed. Not a bad child. Okay, they can't stay still that long. Okay. Kids cannot stay still that long. I don't think that uh, talking makes a child bad. You know what I'm saying? Can you call me when she stabs somebody? Can you call me when she make a threat? Because if she just talking, I can't help you. I I could tell her shut up, but she probably <laughs> did. You ask her what she was talking about, right? Just find out what she. <laughs> how you know she not? Can I see your notes? Cause I I'm lost. You know right. I don't know. You know. Yeah, teachers be quick to just condemn a child. Yeah. Well, oh you guys, God. thank you for watching this video. If you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button to the side or down below, wherever she's gonna put it at. Make sure you guys like this video, like thumbs up it. this video, share this video with anyone yes. and everyone to let them know what we be doing, what we talking about. You feel me? And stay tuned to our next video upload. As always, it was a pleasure. Honey gang, honey bye. bye. bye.